Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Where's my pen? It's just cold in here. On a prayer request, Danielle Rogers has an unspoken request. Pat Cole's been feeling bad. Pray she feels better soon. Lori Lee has an unspoken request. Robin Sadowski is sick with an upper respiratory infection. Pray she's better soon. Joanne's mother has a cold and is sick. Pray that's all it is and she recovers. Marisol needs prayer for her household. It's possible they could get COVID and they have two grandbabies there. Boston, Emily, she could use some blessings. Uh, T.O. Creates needs an unspoken request. Pray for Kelly, whose young, who young, whose young son committed suicide. And pray for my wife, Joy, her right knee swollen and hurting badly. Bonnie's CT scan showed inflammation, and they took some biopsies, but they gave her overall good reports. Diane's grandson is showing signs of COVID and went to be tested. And that's Diane Clark's grandson. And also Diane Clark's son has type A flu and was also tested for COVID. Diane from the Dollar Tree has cancer. Pray she gets better. We, we met this woman at Dollar Tree yesterday. Crystal from Crystal's Pets and Plants needs prayer. Uh, her father has been missing for two months. That would be awful, too, if I have a loved one missing. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from 1 John 3, 16 through 18. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Amen. Amen. And our devotion today is entitled, Relentless Love. Heidi and Jeff came home from an overseas work assignment in a hot climate and settled for several months near family in the state of Michigan, just in time for winter. This would be the first time many of their, their 10 children had seen the natural beauty of snow. But winter weather in Michigan requires a lot of warm outerwear, including coats, mittens, and boots. For a large family, it would be quite an expensive undertaking just to outfit them for the bitterly cold months ahead. But God provided. First, a neighbor brought over footwear, then snow pants, then hats and gloves. Then a friend urged others at her church to collect a variety of warm clothes in all 12 sizes for each member of the family. By the time the snow arrived, the family had exactly what they needed. One of the ways we serve God is by serving those in need. 1 John 3, 16-18 encourages us to help others from the abundance of our own possessions. Serving helps us to be more like Jesus as we begin to love and see people as he does. God often uses his children to fulfill needs and to answer prayers. And as we serve others in our own hearts, our own hearts are encouraged as we encourage those we serve. As a result, our own faith will grow as God equips us for service in new ways. As you notice the numerous needs of people around you, how can you show God's love in a practical way? How does serving God help your faith to grow? Father, fill my heart with the willingness to help when I see a need. Help me to give joyfully and serve you with gratitude. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help them with all their different needs. 
and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotion. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, I don't know what the temperature is. It's cold in here, but uh, it doesn't look like frost out there. And actually, some of the things in the garden are looking better. So I definitely want to show you that. If it's, if it's not real cold, uh, Joy will let me walk. <laughs> but I've been real congested and stuff. I don't, she doesn't want me to catch a cold or anything. And, uh, seems like when you get out there, sometimes it makes it worse. But uh, we'll do something. I'll either go ahead and walk if it's, you know, if it's a little warmer. It's supposed to get a little bit warmer. And things look, some of the things look better out there. So I definitely want to show y'all. So uh, tune in later on. I'll either walk or uh, sh show you the garden, do a morning coffee break or something like that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you later on. God bless.